Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, yeah, this is for the week of March 1st through the 7th. I don't know if you guys are going to be hearing sirens. I was just getting ready to hit record, and the sirens went up buzzing by. I mean, I was literally just getting ready. And it was just came out of nowhere. So I don't know if you're going to be hearing some sirens this week or something like that. Um, what else? There was something else I wanted to tell you. I can't remember what it is. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to get started. March 1st through March 7th. Keep in mind the timing is fluid. Not every reading is for you. Um, must be I forgot what I was going to tell you. It must have slipped my mind. Hmm. Must not have been very important. Maybe it was meant for somebody else. Oh, there they are. So what's going on for Pisces? It was meant for you to hear. It was, I got chills down my arms. What do we have for Pisces? A man holding a coin. So we do have a man here. It's not a woman. All right. That is holding a coin that has an opportunity for stability. We have somebody here. This person is holding on to an opportunity for stability. This is somebody that is stable, solid, secure, hardworking. This could be a business owner. Um, so we do have somebody here that has a lot to offer. They do. Now that's a golden opportunity. So somebody has a golden opportunity right in their hand. They do. They may be holding on to it, not giving it away right now, but they definitely have an opportunity. For if you are a woman watching this, you may have a man here that is very stable and hardworking that has something for you. This man has something for you, something of value. Ooh, <laughs> turkey. Someone is behaving stupidly. Harp, great happiness. So somebody has been behaving stupidly. They have been and put that in the past. But there's a golden opportunity here for stability and great happiness. Harp is a, is a, is a, for me, it's a symbol of love. So I think we have somebody here that is holding on to something. They haven't given it away yet. They have obviously been be, behaving stupidly. Maybe very focused on their money, focused on their business, focused on, you know, financial stability over happiness. You know, some people think that's more important. Some people think financial stability is more important. But according to the universal law, that's stupid. Stupid. Oh, what do we got here? We got the hermit reversed. So, the hermit reversed is loneliness, sadness, antisocial restrictions. It's time to come out of hiding. It's time to open up. So we do have, and this is very stubborn. I mean, the king, I was going to say the king of coins because that's what it reminds me of, um, is stubborn. All about being practical and realistic and focusing on, you know, stability. It looks like financial stability, but it's time to reconnect. It's time to, you know, come out of hiding somebody has been feeling lonely they may have been burying themselves in their job or whatever and there is some sort of loneliness here but this is coming out of loneliness if you like I said if, if you are a female watching you may have a Virgo you may have a Virgo here um, could be a Taurus or a Capricorn as well but anyhow um, this is it could be you know this is coming out of loneliness but then again, the the hermit reverse can be a midlife crisis, and there's there's you know there could be fear of growing old alone, or there could be somebody that has been alone for a long time. You could even be in a relationship and be lonely if you have been stupid and you have been in a relationship that you know you're not attracted to. So that can cause a lot of loneliness. But this is coming out of loneliness. 
temperance reversed. So temperance reversed. That is frustrated. We got somebody here that is frustrated. That's not temperance. That is the empress. That's the empress reversed. And it, because of what I, I didn't even read the card, it just was, anyhow, that's the empress reversed. That's a lack of growth, lack of fertility. And I remember it's interesting because I said lack of attraction. There's lack of abundance here. So in the past, I believe that you may, I don't know, or maybe you're with somebody that doesn't love you. There's a lack of self value, a lack of self worth with the empress reverse. Somebody could also be dealing with an individual that is unfaithful, you know? Doesn't take very good care of them, doesn't take very good care of themselves. You know, the empress reversed is somebody that is very forceful, very jealous, very possessive, very controlling, Selfish. This is a mean-spirited individual that is self-absorbed, that has a poor self-image. You may be holding on to something just because you don't want to be alone. Somebody's holding on to something because they don't want to be alone. But there's no growth, there's no value in it, and there's a golden opportunity for happiness here. But you may have to wake up. Somebody needs to wake up. They do. Don't hold on to something just because it's stable, because it's solid, when you have an opportunity for happiness. There's a lack of unconditional love here as well. Eight of Wands. Now, Eight of Wands is triumphant news. It's fast forward movement, moving very fast, communication, messaging, um, those are also the rods of love. There is an opportunity for love. This is a change that is coming. There is a change coming. Two of coins. There's your change. This is a change. Okay. I feel like, I feel like right now you're juggling. You're juggling life. You may be trying to stay in a place of balance. You know, you may be waiting for something to happen. You may be waiting. It's like you're, you may be waiting for somebody to leave. Somebody's not leaving. Two of coins. This is balancing act. Uh, trying to be flexible. Trying to uh, keep it together. So I do believe that you're trying to keep it together. But a change is definitely coming. You may be dealing with a lot of responsibilities right now as well. And therefore, you know, you're just having a hard time. I do feel like you're having a hard time. I feel like you really want to reconnect with something or you want freedom or something like that. But right now you're holding on to something for stability reasons. Maybe it's for, for financial reasons. This is about a profit and a loss. You don't want to let something go and end up with nothing, right? And there's fear of rejection here, fear of not getting what you deserve. Anyhow, um, I do believe that you there is going to be movement and things are about to change. Things are about to change. You're gonna somebody somebody definitely has an opportunity for balance in their life or for stability and happiness. Hmm. Knight of Cups. Now the Knight of Cups is somebody that's looking for love. This is making a making an, a, an approach, making an advance. Somebody's going to be following their heart. They are going to be following your heart. There's feelings here, acting on feelings. And I'll, oh oh, now I remember what I was going to say earlier. Follow your gut. Follow your gut. And this is a card of intuition. As right as I was getting ready to start, and I was waiting for the sirens to go by a minute ago, whenever it was, I sat here and I was just seeing if they were done. And I was like, and I said to myself right out loud, and I don't even know why, I wasn't even thinking, uh, follow your gut. And I was just, and then I turned the camera on. Follow your gut. Okay, I do believe that it's going to be a very emotional time. You may be feeling very emotional. Your heart may be guiding you in a new direction. Um, 
but you're struggling. I do see struggling, struggling because I feel like there's waiting. There's waiting. There's waiting for somebody to leave. Now that hermit reversed, wanting to reconnect. I feel like there is because it's, that's a reconnection, time to socialize. And this is socializing as well. You may want to socialize. You may want to get out there. But right now you're holding on to something stupidly. All right. Because of the financial gain. This is about profit and loss. It's about financial gain. You're holding on to something for because of financial reasons or assets or because you just don't want to be alone. Because that hermit is about being alone. And you could be with an individual that is not very abundant. This person, there's no, they may even have some health issues. You know, there's no attraction there. There's, there's no, I feel like there's no attraction there. And there's another opportunity there. I, feel, I believe that there's another opportunity for love. I mean, the Knight of Cups is um, looking for love, wanting love. So I do believe that you're searching for love and you want love. But right now, it's all about the stability. It's all about staying where you are to have the stability that, that you feel you need to have. <laughs> hey, man, take a look at that. So this is thinking a lot, thinking, thinking. You may be thinking about moving on, thinking about... Uh, changing your circumstances, but that will require you to follow your gut, follow your intuition and do something that your heart wants you to do. And I feel like the struggle is real. I mean, the struggle is real. You know, you may be trying to prove something. You're hanging on to something, wasting time, sacrificing yourself. That's what that card is. You know, you have to struggle through this. You have to let something go. This is learning some sort of a lesson. I feel like a new perspective. You need to gain some sort of new perspective. And maybe you are. Maybe you are gaining a new perspective. This is seeing the light. Maybe you are starting to see the light about whoever it is that you're dealing with. There is definitely an opportunity for happiness here. But it will require you to break free from something. Because the hangman's hanging. You got, you got, you got to cut yourself free. You have to cut yourself free. You have, you have to cut yourself free. Now, the hangman is about punishment. You know, there's a lesson to be learned. There is a lesson to be learned. Somebody is like, it's like they're willing to be lonely to prove something. And I don't know why. I don't know why. So anyway, I do believe that this is going to be a week of change. It's or a change is coming if it's not this week. Okay, get ready for some fast movement with that eight of wands. If you are single and you are watching this, if you're single, you probably won't be single much longer because there is somebody here that is stable and solid and secure and has a lot to offer. If, and this person will com be communicating with you. They will be communicating with you. They could be texting you, something like that. Um, if you are in a relationship right now, this could be about financial stability. You may have to let something go to become financially stable. You know, there is financial stability here, but needing to be flexible, needing to adapt. You may need to adapt to a change and be willing to let go of something to bring in the stability and the money that you're looking for. Something needs to be let go. That's what with the hangman, something needs to be let go. But we have somebody here that is unwilling to. They're struggling. They're really, really, really struggling to let go of something that they are hanging on to. They are really struggling. And it feels like their heart is telling them that they need to let go. They need to let go. They need to let go. But they can't. They can't because of the yeah, stability that it offers. Anyway, I do feel like this week the there's, struggle there's is real because that is the hangman. The struggle is real. That is a lot of sacrifice. Somebody is sacrificing their heart for money. Ace of Wands. Now, the Ace of Wands is... An exciting opportunity for growth. It's a new partner, a new uh, desire, a new drive, new ambition, new vision. So you may get you may get a new vision. You may get a new desire to start fresh. 
you know, plant your seeds someplace else. Um, I do believe that there is a new beginning here. It's very exciting. It can grow. It can grow into something uh, very, very stable and emotionally fulfilling. And there's passion, you know, where you could, you could, you could move into something more passionate, more attractive to you. But it will require you letting go, letting go of something. And that's ego. That hangman is ego, but that's the truth. Okay. And uh, so you have to let go of your ego and follow your heart. There's definitely a new exciting opportunity that is presented to you that is right in front of you. That's you, right in front of you. The hangman represents Pisces, right in front of you. This is an exciting opportunity that is right in front of you. But you are wasting time hanging on to something that is, it's breaking your back. I feel like it's terrible. I feel like it's just like, oh my God, how long can I do this for? And I feel like you've just been uh, really struggling, struggling to adapt, waiting, waiting, waiting as well. Anyway, I feel like this week you are going to, or you already have been presented with an opportunity to break free, okay? There is some good news arriving, okay? There is good news. It feels like you're going to be feeling, you're going to be in your feelings, you're going to be feeling emotional about whatever it is that you're, you're going to be really in your emotions, you're going to be thinking about letting go because you see this is a vision. This is a vision. You see an opportunity that could really grow. And, but it's going to require, and it could bring you financial gain. This could bring you a lot of financial gain, but it will require you to make a, de a decision, a choice, you know, to let go of something that is not nurturing to you. You've been in a situation where there's no unconditional love, there's no nurturing, there's no abundance, you know, there's no growth. And you've been holding on to it because of ego. And I don't care if you like me or not. But that hangman is your card and it does represent ego. You must struggle through this. You must let something go. I think you're thinking a lot about everything that has happened. And I feel like you are going to get this new vision. I think you're becoming enlightened as to what is what your heart wants. So I do believe, I also believe there could be some heartfelt communication coming in this week. Heartfelt communication that may cause you to struggle. Or maybe the communication's already happened, I don't know. That causes you to really think about things, okay? Um, anyhow, this week there's going to be some sort of change. Could be a change in, in the, money, the money sector, okay? This card says, just go for it. Just go for it. Whatever it is that you got this desire to do, just go for it. Some of you may have a new sexual partner that is right in front of you that is very, very, you know, desirable, you know. For, yeah, I feel, I feel like you, you definitely, oh, Queen of Cups. You're definitely going to be feeling it. You're going to be feeling some sort of spark, some sort of sudden desire to go in a new direction. No doubt about it. I think that you've isolated yourself for a long time. You've sacrificed yourself for a situation for a long time. I feel like you're, you're going to be... Uh, Really, in your feelings, I feel like you're going to be very, um, you're going to be receiving messages as well. Message, it could be messages from your gut, you know, messages from your intuition, messages even from above. You're going to be receiving a lot of intuitive nudges, intuitive messages that are telling you to go for it, go for it, go for it, because this is go for it. Stop wasting time. You've been wasting time because of money. I feel like you guys have another option here that is very fertile. And you've been waiting. You've been waiting, 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 waiting for somebody to, you know, I feel like leave. Maybe you should be the one that leaves. Anyhow, I do I do feel like uh, we have we have love here. There is an offer of love here. There's an opportunity for love. 
but it will require you to open up to let go of something that you have been hanging on to and flexibility you're going to need to be flexible you're going to be need to be willing to well this is a profit and a loss you lose something you gain something and whatever it is that you gain is is emotionally fulfilling so anyway i feel i feel like um you have an opportunity for for a very passionate uh, connection that could would make you extremely happy. It would with that Queen of Cups. It's like she's like yay, yay. But it you know you have to be open for it. And there's love here. There's love to be had. And, and if you are a female watching this. There is a, or feminine, there is a masculine here that has something uh, to offer you. Absolutely. And I feel like they're going to be, um, I feel like they're going to be coming in. They're coming in. Somebody is coming in. But I feel like you're, you're going to struggle. You are going to struggle with letting them in. Open your heart. Let them in. Let them in. Let them in. If you are a man watching this, you have a lot to offer and you deserve to be loved. And there is a very loving person here, somebody that can really make you happy, that will bring you, will bring out the best in you. This person will make you feel warm inside. This is somebody that you will be attracted to. This is a new spark. It's a new desire in falling in love. You could be falling in love with somebody new. No, oh, look at this. We have the star on the bottom. That is a wish being granted. This is being accepted. This is this is uh, help arriving after the tower falls. So there could be a tower moment with whoever this person is. We have somebody up here that is not very loving. And this could be the end. It could be the end of a situation. It could be a loss. The Empress reversed. But this is this is help arriving after the tower falls. This is a blessing. A blessing in disguise. You have an opportunity for wish fulfillment this week. Okay? So this is like, when I see the star card, I think of the answer to your prayers. So it feels like your prayers are being answered or your prayers have been heard. And you have an opportunity for love here. So I do believe that for some of you that are watching this, there is a very passionate opportunity for love here that you have been waiting for. I think that you have been very flexible with a situation or you've tried to be you've you've hung on to something long ago, long enough okay it's time for you to break free of whatever it is that has kept you trapped and move in the direction that's going to make you happy so i feel like this week you know you may be making an offer or getting an offer from somebody that makes you really 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 happy it could come after a loss, though. I do think it does come after a loss. There is good news arriving, put it that way. This is, this is very good. Okay, you're just going to make you happy. Thank the Lord. That's all I got to say. This week is a, I feel like it's a big week of change. And I don't have a lot of change cards, but I really feel like it is. This is where you, you're able, you're able to just break free of something. What I, and it's interesting because I said at one of my posts yesterday, it's like, hallelujah. So anyhow, I feel like a wish is being granted. You've been praying and hoping for something. And I think it's time. It's time for you to get what you've been praying and hoping for.
Good luck.